Hello everybody and welcome to how to make your wife happy and healthy. Why am I all dressed up? Today is a special episode getting ready for Mother's Day coming very soon. Actually that's not true. Today is Friday and on Fridays I dress in my school colors because it's spirit day. But that's beside the point. Today we're going to make a wonderful dish that my mother loves. What is it you wonder? Well come on, let's get cooking. celebratory 100 subscriber video coming out in the near future and we're now we're heading towards our next milestone 200 subscribers I'm thinking I might give away something like my pork rib rub which works great on all pork or if you can think of something you would want from this channel and it's feasible put a comment down below so I can know what it is and now today's shout out goes to Adventures, Adventures in Food, in food, in food with, with Howard, Howard. Howard. Recently, he added an easy fruit tart recipe that I think is worth a try. He also said he's going to compare it to a traditional tart recipe later. I'm ready to see that comparison too. As well as a wonderful teriyaki sauce and all the ins and outs of how to make your own teriyaki sauce at home and make it very tasty. It looks wonderful. Links to his channel and those recipes are down below. Everybody and their mother loves to go out to eat on Mother's Day. How about bucking that trend and staying home and making something scrumptious for your mom instead? Just remember, would you rather wait an hour in a restaurant or maybe have a nice home cooked meal for mom? So my mom really loves tri-tip, barbecue style. So I'm going to show you a recipe made for my late great uncle Furman. Well, he wasn't really my great uncle. He's my mom's brother, oldest brother. So he's actually my uncle. But I call him great because his recipes were great and he used to be a butcher. So here comes a great recipe for tri-tip for my late great uncle, Berman. Here are the ingredients. One tri-tip. One cup of Worcestershire sauce. One cup of red wine. Cheap stuff is fine. When I was younger, I couldn't buy wine. I used wine vinegar. First, you want to take your gallon-sized plastic bag and put the tri-tip inside. Make sure you hold it up. Otherwise, the wine and Worcestershire sauce might run out. Next, add a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Make sure you hold the bag so the Worcestershire sauce doesn't run out. Out of the Worcestershire sauce, add a cup of red wine. We used to equal parts wine and Worcestershire sauce. That's all it takes. You can close up the bag. Make sure you seal it tight. If you don't see it tight, it might drip. Sealed tight. All right, let's see. For me right now, it is 7.30. We're going to eat this at about 5.30 tomorrow. That's when I start cooking, 5.30 tomorrow. That gives me how many hours? 22 hours. So after 11 hours in the refrigerator, I'm going to flip it over. So that means tomorrow at 6.30, or when I get up, I'm going to flip it over so the other side will marinate. I'm going to start with the... The meaty side marinating first. Keep the fat side up. So the marinade will go on the meat side longer. I like to put my tri-tip on a cooking tray. A cookie sheet. That way if it leaks, it won't leak all over your refrigerator. 
Now I'm going to put it in and wait for 11 hours and turn it over in the morning. So here's the tri-tip that has been marinated for 22 hours. You can see it's got a nice brownish color from the marinade. This is the meat side and here's the fat side. Same idea, it's got a nice brownish color. Now you might want to know what to do with that marinade once you're done. Well, for me, I often just throw it away. Just kidding. I got my marinade right here. If I was doing a cold barbecue, I'd pour a little bit on the coals. It's going to reduce the heat of the coals a bit. It's also going to add a lot of smoke. I wouldn't pour too much on the coals. Today, I'm going to do a gas fire. So on my gas grill, instead I'm going to pour onto the fake coals of my gas grill. I'm going to pour a little more on because that will not reduce the heat and it's going to make a lot of smoke inside and get a lot of smoke flavor on the outside. You get a nice good flavor from the washer sauce and the wine. What? It said April yesterday? It's because we forgot to flip it. It was actually May when I started recording. It's still May. I hope you can hear me because when I'm outside I know it's hard to hear. So editor, why don't you add some subtitles, all right? Good job. Okay, so now I'm going to do this on direct heat. So I know there's a good way to do it with indirect heat, but that's not usually how I cook my tri-tips. So today we're gonna use direct heat, so that means 20 minutes aside about. Now I would love to try doing the, re the reverse sear technique, but unfortunately my wife doesn't like sous or that, that, you know, put the stuff in the water and let it cook to the right doneness and then sear it. Doesn't like that. I'll have to play with the oven to see if I can get it to the right temperature though. We'll try that later, but since this is what I know, we're just going to put it directly on for 20 minutes. So today I'm going to put it down, meat side down first. That's how I want to put it on the grill today. Because I know with the, the fat side there's lots of flare ups. So I'm going to do meat side down first. The only reason it's on the foil is because I wanted to show it to you. Otherwise you just take it directly out of the bag. Boom. You can hear that sizzle. And some smoke coming on right now. I'm gonna close it up. Cook it on high. Set my timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes so I can check on it. Okay, here's some of that marinade that I got. I'm gonna pour it right onto the ceramic coals. It's gonna add a lot of smoke inside, I hope. Lots of smoke going on here. Gotta take a look. It's been 15 minutes. Oh. You can see it's already got the top part a little brown where the fat side was. Flip it over. Take a look at it. Okay, so now this, for some of you, might be a bit charred, might be a bit too much charred. For me, that's wonderful. Now I'm gonna set it up and let the other side cook a little bit just the same. Add some marinade on the top. Smoke it up. Maybe I'll turn the fire down just a little bit. Let the other side stay nice and hot though. <clears throat> Add some more marinade. Get some more smoke out there. Close it up, wait another 15 minutes. Now the trouble is the fat side is on the downside, so I'm only gonna wait 10. You gotta really look at the fat side. When I come back out, I'll let you know how to check to see if it's done without using a meat thermometer. Now I know it's only been about five minutes or so, but I really wanna check on it because I know the fat side can get really hot and flame quickly. Oh yeah, there's a lot of flame going on, a lot of fat getting flame. I'm gonna flip it up. Oh, lots of flame. I'm gonna move it to my other side. So keep it on the fat side down. I reduce some of the flames, see that fat's burning off right there. I reduce the heat on this side so that it won't cook so hot. And I'll keep cooking. Ah, to test this doneness. Oh. Lots of give. Lot of give. When it squeezes very easily, that means it's still pretty rare. 
See this part? Not so rare. This part's getting pretty done because it's on the edge. But when I get over to the middle, lots of squeezing going on. That means it's pretty rare over here. Try it from the other side. Oh yeah, see the fat side is really burnt. Don't worry about that so much. You can see the squeeze. Not so much over here, pretty well done. Over here though, a lot more give. We need to go another 10 minutes or so. Keep on the fat side. Don't worry, when we cut it up, all the crust is on the outside. Some people cut it off. I love that flavor. Okay, another five minutes are up. Let's take a look. Oh, firm, really firm right here. That's done this good for my wife and son. A little give over here. Oh, I think it's a little too much done for my water and myself, but say I love me. All right, a nice charred triton. Whoop! Uh, almost disaster. Thankfully, my pan was ready. I bet you thought I was going to lose it there. Ha <laughs> ha! Absolutely not. There. Now we're going to go in, let it sit for about five minutes, and cut it up. Okay, look at this tri tip. Take a look. Nice and crusted on the outside. That's what you want. I know it looks really black. I'm going to hopefully see some red on the inside. Let's take a look. Let me push down. Okay, this part looks pretty done. I get to here, it looks less done. This will be for my daughter and myself. We like it less done. And a little more done over here, too. So it's pretty done right here. So we shall see. Let's cut open and see if my push technique works. So there are many ways to cut a tri-tip. Uh, there is no right way from what I can tell. I've seen videos that say there's a right way. There is not. I'm just going to cut it right here like this. Let's take a look. Is this the red part? Ooh, la, la. Yeah, that's got some red right in there. Oh, look at that red. That or is beautiful McDonald's. red. And look at this part. Oh, yes, that's red. That's good for my daughter and myself. Might be actually a little... Needs to be more red. Needs to be more red. That juice is going to actually leak out. It's not going to look so red when we're done cutting. But I digress. So let's get to the tough part where my son and daughter like. Look at that. Yep. And my, I don't my, like that part. My son and my wife like. See? Done. Really done. That's the part they like. Whoops. All right. Now let's cut it like a pro. Let's not be so amateurish. All right. Here we go. Uh, but cut cool nice that I was selling one summer. Still sharp. That was over 25 years ago. So you can see this part's a little bit red. Not very done. Not very, not well done. Hmm. But still, that pinkness is going to weed out. Let's see. How long did I cook this for? I would say in all about 35 minutes. I had the heat a little higher, maybe because it's hot outside today. So maybe the heat inside the barbecue got a little hotter than usual. But still, it's going to taste wonderful. I know it. Depending on how done you like it, you can, again, so you just... Now, truthfully, if I had a meat tomorrow, this would be easier to tell, but I pretty much could tell. You know, it's like I can pretty much tell where the done part was, where the not so done part was, just by pushing down on the tri-tip. The only reason it's going to taste wonderful is because of my mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's going to make her mashed potatoes. Why aren't you making them? Mmm. Uh, here we go. Some of that more red part. Yeah, the more rare part. That's the part my daughter really likes. Now, I wish I have a chance to do the reverse sear technique. That would be a wonderful technique to do with this meat. But I have yet to experiment enough to, do, to know how long to put it into the oven for. Get the doneness we want. Because that way the doneness on the inside is all done. All you have to do is then... Put it on the grill to sear it. Oh, reverse sear. I actually did some reverse searing before. You might not have known it though. When I did the pork rib recipe, those baby back ribs, that's a reverse. That's a reverse sear. Reverse sear. You know why? Because we cooked it low and slow in the oven to get it all tender and done. And it could have been eaten that way. But no, 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 you want that nice sear on the outside. So then I toss it on the barbecue to get that nice seared look and taste. Ah, editor, there's a link, put it up. Let's get that link up to my baby back ribs. Wonderful recipe.
family loves it too. And here More we have. Spice. Here we have a nice tri-tip. Almost done cutting it. See all that extra juice floating over there? We're gonna pour it right back on the tri-tip because that is flavor waiting to be put into the meat. Don't let it go away. If I had a better carving board, one that captures all that juice, that's what I should be using. But I do not. So as my normal tri-tips, you can take a look and you can see the smaller parts, the edges got more done. Pretty much well done, no pink at all. Whereas the inner parts, lots of pink. Well, maybe not as pink as my daughter would like, but it's still pink. It's a little bit more medium well than uh, medium well than it is medium rare that my daughter and I both like, but it's still good. All right, so let's plate this up, put it on the table, and let's see what the family thinks. You pretend we have an editor. Background, that's my daughter making the mashed potatoes for wonderful addition. Oh, so the juice went first. So I'm gonna put the meat on the plate. Let's plate all that meat. Sometimes they put the done part on one side, the not so done part on the other today. Eh, we're just gonna put it all down. Okay, the next step. Take some of the extra juice that I had from when I let it rest in my pan and I'm going to pour that over the meat as well. Oh, all that flavor. That's wonderful flavoring for your tri-tip. Make sure you don't leave any of it out. Have some in the bottom too and dip it in. It makes it extra good. tender and good, but it still needs to be more rare. You know how rare I like it. Mm. Uh, Bobby, you tender and crisp crusted shred chip mixed with the creamy white mashed potatoes and gravy makes this one of the best Mother's Day dishes. It is on Mother's Day. Since you made it this far, why don't you combine your mouse with the like button, just like my kids combine their tri-tip with their mashed potatoes and gravy. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all my new videos coming out on Mondays. And to mess with people who don't get this far in the video, be sure to include the words Camellia's mashed potatoes in the comments below to be included in a random weekly drawing to be a, get a shout out in my next video. Don't worry, I keep your name until I give you a shout out. The more you enter, the more times I will shout you out. Until the channel is too large to do that, that is. Thanks for watching, and have a happy and healthy day.